よー What's good? What's good, YouTube? It's your man Snow, back for another video. And today, man, I got y'all with another reaction video, man. Hey, man, bro, look, I I had already recorded a reaction, and uh, the sound was fucked up. The sound for the the actual video, the 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 sound to hear the video wasn't even in the reaction, so like you couldn't even hear you. All you could hear was me talking. You couldn't even hear the sound to the video. So so like. I'm doing it again. But anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to react to um, Stefan A. reacting to Nate Robinson getting knocked out. Uh, from what we know, this black dude is funny. Um, Nate Robinson got knocked out. So we just gonna, <laughs> we just going to check it out, bro. <laughs> like, as you can see, I, I, I went to the trend and I just scrolled and, and I found it. So we just, we just going to check it out. I haven't actually watched the video. I know it shows like the red thing, but I haven't actually watched the video. Um, it was just doing the little uh like the preview thing. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't actually watch any of the, the, the actual video. But hey man, if you like the video, make sure you go ahead and you destroy that like button, make sure you go ahead and you just mind the subscribe button, make sure you go ahead and click that notification bell so you can go ahead and be a part of the bit back game. Yes, sir. And then make sure you go ahead and you click that share button, share it to your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your cousin, um, your uncle, your auntie, your grandpa, and your grandma. Because you know we out here trying to find us a nice, sexy, juicy, thick, big booty sugar mama who's going to be out here paying our bills. Now, let's go ahead and get right to the video. What do you think was the bigger story? Was it Tyson Jones or was it the fact that we saw Nate Robinson get KO'd? I think it was Nate Robinson getting put to sleep. Um, and when I say sleep, <coughs> when I say sleep, I mean sleep. I'm talking about no, bro. In not all, moving. In all reality, bro, in all reality, I think the only reason everyone is so infatuated with the fact that this dude got knocked out quote unquote because if you ask me i really don't think he could I, I i really don't think he was knocked out i personally think they faked it i personally think it was just a um like a hoax or like a, a show they wanted to put on a show they wanted to get some money they wanted to get paid so they they hyped it up they did what they did but in all reality i really don't think like you feel what i'm saying um, but regardless of that, I think the only reason people are so hyped is because it was a white person, a white dude, Jake Paul, a white, a white dude knocked out Nate Robinson, a black dude, not only a black dude, but a black athlete, somebody who is known to be an athlete. So I think that's the only reason why people are so hyped about this. In our reality, it wasn't even that 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 big of a deal it, it really wasn't completely out cold max i don't know if it was smelling soft or something that they used but he was on that canvas i counted for at least two to three minutes um and when he sat up they put the stool near him and he couldn't even gather himself together to get up on the stool um th th this they brother sat him was up way too fast in a way that you only yeah, yeah, you only you only see that happen to people that take Ambien. It was that bad, and, and you know I'm not I'm not, I'm not gonna be like other people in the NBA. Like why do why did why do people think like like bro? When it comes to like if you okay, I don't know if y'all watched the actual fight. I didn't watch the fight. In all, in all honesty, I didn't really watch the fight. I didn't watch the fight live. You feel what I'm saying? I seen clips, seen people react to it. You feel me? I, I, I later seen the full, the full. You feel what I'm saying? Full fight. Um, but as it was playing live, I didn't watch the fight. Um, because in all reality, I, I'm not. I, I don't know. I'm not about to get into the this whole. Uh, you feel what I'm saying? A whole conscious weight thing. 
But re- regardless, people make it seem like people can't get knocked out. Like it's so uh, 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 a crazy thing for people to get. Bro, like people get knocked out. Like people get knocked out. People get stomped on. People, <laughs> people get dragged. Like, like, bro, this is nothing. The fact that he got knocked out is is not a big deal, bro. It's it's really not that big of a deal. And, and y'all hyping it up. The 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 only first of all, he's not even a boxer. He's not even a boxer. He's never had a professional fight. This was actually his prof- his first professional fight as as being in training for boxing, being in a boxing ring, actual boxing referees, boxing rules, everything. This was his first actual boxing fight. He got knocked out. So what? Shut up. Like, y'all hyping it up for no reason, man. Yeah, where, um, you know, folks were joking around. I thought, I thought he was really, really hurt. I was scared for him when he didn't move. Um, and he got KO'd like that, and, you know, it was it was just something sad to see. Jake Paul clearly had more experience, clearly had... Even Jake Paul ha- only has two fights. I'm pretty sure has only had two professional fights. But he's been definitely box training way longer than Nate Robinson. But, like, bro, come on now, bro. Y- y'all talking about this like it's a... Like, come on, bro. Y'all, y'all dragging it, skill. man. Y'all he dragging it. He was a bigger, it. heavier fighter on top of that, plus he was the better boxer. And literally, Nate came in with his face, with his face. And so I, I just, I thank God he's all right. And, and major props to him for, you know, joining the chat room. I heard he joined the chat room and was just taking the criticism like a man. Um, I got a lot of. What else is he supposed to do? What else did you expect him to do? First of all, this is this is. There's two. There's two different types of realities, bro. There's. Your reality, your life, the life that you live, you know, your personal life, the the people that's in your circle, there's that reality, and then there's the social media reality. You can either you can you can you can either pick one and go with that one or you can pick the other and go with that one. Either way, whichever one you pick, you're going to have to understand like Okay, and all like one is real, one is fake. What basically what I'm saying, one is real, one is fake. You can either entertain, you can pick the, you can pick the fake world, you can pick the fake reality, and try to make your best, your best um, portrayal. You can make your best self on the fake reality, or basically you can make your best self on social media, on the internet world, on the on the on the uh, social media realm, and try to put your best self, your best person out on there, or you can fake it. Either way, like you're 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 trying to, but the social media is for is obviously social media is for people. Like that's the people world. That's that that's people go there for likes. People go there to be noticed. People go there to to, to satisfy, like their ego and their their lust and all this other stuff. Or you can just not worry about it. Take it as a joke because in all reality, it is a joke. Anything that happens, anything that is happening on social media is going to take that and use it as a joke. Everything on social media is used for nothing but a joke. Everything is fake on social media. Everything. It does not matter. Every single thing is on social media is fake. People are going to fake it up. People are going to make fun of it. Like, okay, cool. You got knocked out. But, like, people is over there making memes. People is over there. Like, <laughs> we're not going to lie. The memes was funny. But, like, bro, don't take that social media shit serious. No, no, like, all reality, all the people that is making fun of you, bro, because you got knocked out, don't even know how much you got paid. For getting knocked out. Like, you got knocked out, you still got paid. Nope. Like, the people that are making fun of you for getting knocked out, majority of them is not touching the type of money that you you touched because of getting knocked out. You got knocked out, but you got knocked out and woke up with a pocket full of, uh, with a whole bag full of cash. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, it, it don't matter. You could take it, you could, you could take it and get, like, upset about it. You can get triggered about it. But, like, bro, People who are making fun of you for getting knocked out won't understand that when you woke up, you woke up with a bag full of cash, bro. Like, come on now. Love for the kid. I'm not, you know, I'm not, you know, ain't nothing to laugh about. Uh, it was, it was, it was scary, to be quite honest with you. And it just goes to show what Snoop Dogg and all of them were saying, because I thought Snoop Dogg was absolutely fabulous calling a fight. 
like you said, you don't yeah, play. You know this better than me, Max. You don't. You don't play boxing. You don't play boxing when you get in that ring. You no. either know what you're doing or you stay the hell out of there. Nate is super athletic and scrappy. Facts. You don't play boxing. Don't play a role that you don't like. Do not play a role for nobody. Do not. Do not go outside of yourself. Do not take. Do not try to portray yourself to be something that you're not. Do not go an extra. Do not, like, just don't do it, bro. Just don't do it. If if you can fight, cool. If you can't fight, then cool. Like it it it's it's okay. It's okay to be yourself. Like do not. Like let me let me get this. People be thinking like. People 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 be thinking like yo. I cannot be myself because people are not going to like me, right? People believe that you cannot be yourself because people is not going to like you. Hold on, let me put that down a little more. When in all reality, if you be yourself, being yourself, first of all, is going to allow you to find self-love. Which self-love will make you radiate to a level of unbelief like you're going to be the most happiest person you can ever imagine just because you are being yourself 100 percent of the time because you're being yourself you're going to be the happiest person you will ever be and that whole oh i need to make friends bro if you just be yourself you're going to make friends 100 percent of the time you're going to make friends there's nobody in this world like there's nobody in this world i like 100 percent for a fact there's nobody in this world who cannot have not one friend. Nobody in this world cannot have not one friend. If they don't have friends, it's because they are not being themselves or they're locking themselves away. But if you be yourself, there's no way that everyone, there's no way possible that everyone, every single one doesn't like you. Mm. That's but facts. a lot of people who like, fight and think they're if they, they fought in the street and if they had any success there or fought in a locker room or wherever that they're going to get in a boxing ring without being trained no jake paul had muscle memory because jake paul is taking his fighting seriously over the last couple of years and is really putting in the work and it's showing his muscle memory is just better than nate's was right and so okay that's what happens in boxing the biggest story was mike tyson and roy jones that was the best version of what that fight could have been uh they came in in shape tyson especially and the funny thing is about Roy. And the fact is, like, no, okay, bro. I don't even want to. I don't even want to finish watching this. They, I, I literally only clicked on it because of Nate. And it seems like they already over that part. They finished. They they got over the topic in two minutes. Cause that's literally how dumb the topic is, bro. And like, that is literally how dumb the topic is. But at the end of the day, bro, like, it's not that serious. It's not that serious, bro. It's really not that serious. In all reality, my question is, like, if there was no social media, would y'all even, like, would y'all even be hyping it up, like, the way y'all hyping it up? If social media and all this thing didn't exist, like, social media didn't exist, we were still back in the Blackberry days where all you could do on the phone was text and call people. Would it be that big of a deal? Go down in the comments and type in yes or no. Like, yes or no, do you believe that this would have been a big of a deal if there was no social media? People weren't making memes. People weren't sharing the video. People weren't joking about it. Do you, like, obviously when you get around your, your friends and stuff, people going to laugh, people going to joke. But do you think it would have been a big of a deal? Or do you even think you would have watched this if there was no social media? Would this even be a, a, a thing? If there was no social media, because apparently all this started off as social media. The, like, bro, all of this started because of social media. This whole fight, you got this dude got knocked out because of social media. But whatever, man. I ain't even going. You feel what I'm saying? Hey man, if you like the video, make sure you go ahead and you destroy that like button. Make sure you go ahead and demonstrate that subscribe button. Make sure you go ahead and click that notification bell so you can go ahead and be a part of the
Gang, gang, yes, sir. Then make sure you go ahead and you show some love and you click that share button, share it to your mama, your daddy, your your brother, your sister, your cousins, your un- your uncle, your auntie, your grandpa, and your grandma, because you know we out here trying to find us a nice, sexy, big, booty, thick, juicy, sugar mama. We're going to be out here paying our motherfucking bills. It's your man's Mo, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video.